What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Going Medieval Heathen Cuisine. That's right, we're back at it. Episode 4. Time for some grueling cannibal tribe action. We've got Alfred, we've got James, we've got Jeff, we've got Mary, and the newest addition from the last episode, Tiffany. So let's see what these bad boys are up to. Bad girls, bad boys, everybody's, everybody's bad. They're all cannibals. Ooh, we got a tree right in front of the door. It's not gonna... It's not gonna let me take it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, get that out of here. Alright. So while they're waking up... It's been a little while since I've uh, been at this game. A couple days. Had a nice long weekend. So let's do some assessing. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's prioritize... We want to prioritize the berries is very high. Because we're going to start fermenting, making some wines. Herbs, not really a priority. Barley. Eh, put those as medium. Really not really a priority right now. Cabbage, though, very high. Flax, we'll do as medium as well. All right. We got plenty and plenty of hay. So that's good. Starting up the process of building in the barn so we can expand in. That's good. All right. So the biggest thing that I've noticed is the tree. Tree edge is getting a little a little scarce you know farther and farther away so what i'm thinking is maybe we'll go ahead and throw down a little you know let's see what we have saplings of so overview resources seeds all right we got pine 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 okay so we've got a good stock of pine lots of oak maple Okay, so let's go let's go ahead and start off with some pine. I'm a fan of pine myself. So let's go ahead and do some pine. Birch. Got the field maple. Got that oak tree. Scott's pine. There we go. Alright, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just go here, maybe. Sure. And I'm going to put some spacing. Because I want it to feel more like an orchard. You know? Less like, oh, son of a biscuit. More like an orchard, less like a, uh, like a giant field. All these little <laughs> individual <laughs> tree plots. Oh, son of a bitch. I swear I know what I'm doing. I swear. I mean, by no means am I an expert, but I swear I know what I'm doing. Alright, so we got a nice little tree... Tree garden area, I guess, going on over there, so that's good. Alright, so wood seems to be a factor right now. We'll see how our... How this is all doing. Beamage is good. Okay. Now, for those of you that saw the last episode, you know that I had an issue with trying to figure out how to do the layout. But I think I got it. It's not perfect. You know, I'm not, by any means, I'm not some kind of building expert. I mean, when I'm not gaming, I am an engineer by trade, but I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm not structural. I don't do buildings. I do machines. Specifically engines. I don't, I don't handle any of this kind of stuff. Otherwise, that's what I would have done. Okay, so that's all looking good in there. Alright, so we can... Looks like maybe start mapping out the roofing for here. So that is a wooden roof. Okay, let's go that. Alright, there we go. So we'll get that running. Oop, didn't mean to pause it there. Alright, we got the roof going now. For that. Now let's check up. Another story or two. Okay, so we got the roofage coming across this little slanting as well. It's a fun little back slant going on right there. Alright, we got this upper floor now being built. 
Ooh, and Jeff Dahmer culinary skill is now level 24. All right, let's slow it down here for a second. Now, if I remember correctly, we had an issue with this roofing. So, let's try and solve that. Let's see, can I get all the way across? Nope. Okay. So, I'm going to have to go this way with it. it's facing the right direction. So it's going to keep that weird slantage going on over there. Oh, that's right. It wants to cut by one. So let's see. That gives me 12, so it's 13. So I can go in six. I would need to... I would need to beam it here. Well, one thing I can do, actually, now that I look at it, I think I have a workaround. It's going to look a little funny, but fuck it, you know? Let's let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. We'll do some beamage here to make that extend out. We'll go here and here like that. Just to add all those extra stripes. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, it might not work. I was going to do a half up and then a half back. But even if I did that... I would have to go seven this way. And that would work. But the problem now would be... Going to the six mark here. Yeah. Those are all doorway. And I could do it there. Then we would just have a weird gapage. Nah, because that still wouldn't sit. I would need to do it here. But I can't. There's no support beams to go that way. This to seven, but then that one would be. Man, I'm always off by one. I swear that's like my. My worst enemy. Always off by one. These stairwells. Well, the only other option is I'd have to float it. Kind of like how I wanted before, and I'd have to leave a weird space. Which, I could take it, if I did this, go all the way to the max, and do that, and just leave that space. But I would need to run these supports along that wall. So you know what, I'll go ahead and do that. That's really all we can do at this point, and that's okay. I make this as organic as possible. I am by <laughs> no means, as I've said, a construction expert. So then what we can do is put down the wood flooring here like this to seal it. Just because, again, I don't know how the mechanics are going to work with having that gapage. And then we can build that across like that. All right. And it'll work. You know what? It doesn't need to be perfect. It'll work. And then now we'll have this giant great hall. And that's fine. And that is okay. It is perfectly fine. Alright, so how are we doing on temperature in here? Ooh, 83 degrees. Nice and cozy. Now one thing people mentioned is we can always do windows to help with as well. Um, and I would like to try that, yes, but I know that the new update, update 9, that is coming here very shortly, is going to be adding new temperature systems, how to control and monitor temperature. So I'm going to kind of wait for that and adjust accordingly. But 
it doesn't mean in the meantime I can't have some fun over here. So wooden window. Let's just go like this. Because this is cool. Alright. I know, just like last episode, this is an epic <laughs> base building episode. Nothing too crazy, at least as of yet. And that's okay. So we'll get those in before we deconstruct anything. And then they'll have that whole nice giant pen. So, actually, here's what I need to do. Actually, I have to do the deconstruct, don't I? Ugh, it's gonna make me sit here and do each one very, very high. Alright, let me just speed through here. Alright, because wood right now is a big priority. So, let's go ahead and get everybody else speeding along while I do this. Because they all have their tasks. We need to get plenty of wood so we can start our wall. But I know, this is what you all came for. You came for me to sustain life, do tree management systems. I know this is so epic. This is the greatest gaming video of all time. Hashtag amazing, hashtag cozy, hashtag medieval Chad. <laughs> I know, I know. This is what you people came for. Right there, and boom, I did it. I did exactly what you all wanted. Let's get some mushrooms. Oh, it looks like I'm going to go down a floor. Come on, Tiffany. Alright, so her name turned green, so she's really happy. So that's good. So I'm going to change her name. So this is Tracy, y'all. Welcome, Tracy. Just because the whole Tiffany weird spelling, my brain doesn't want to read it right. So here we are, our humble beginnings, fermenting. Once we get that kitchen finished, I can throw that down. We got our smokehouse. I feel like that needs to be out here. We have some clay somewhere, I know. Research, furniture, we can get beds and bookshelves and weapon racks. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. We're definitely going to need bookshelves, that's for damn sure. Alright, so how are we doing on the building, my friend? Turn these into straights. Oh, they're already good. It is the dead of summer. So everybody's not wearing winter clothes, but we don't have summer clothes. So as you can see right here, naked Alfred. Getting the job done. Ooh, a group of animals has arrived. Damn. If only we had the ability to use marksmanship, 
But unfortunately, with this challenge, we're doing melee only. And I have yet... I've tested it on the side, yet to find a way to do melee hunting. For some reason, the mechanic only wants it to do marksman. Alright, finally, we're getting some crops planted. It's good. A midsummer planting, leading to a probably mid-fall harvest. Late fall harvest, that's good. <laughs> looks Mary looks weird out there with uh, her her white, basically that she's got her underwear or her you know under blouse on, but then she's wearing the metal helmet, so it looks like she's running around naked with a bucket. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see how we're doing on management. Everybody's still eating. We haven't had any visitors yet. Oh, looks like the armor decomposed on Jeff. So he's now naked, Jeff. Let's check out how our stockpile is doing. Alright. So not taking up a lot of space just yet. One thing that will be nice is as we add... Um, workshops and whatnot, that the storage for those items will go to those spaces, and we'll, eventually this cellar will just be for food. And all the other items, like linens and things like that, will go out to those areas. Alright, everybody's playing some backgammon, getting some worship on, because again, we're all pagan, fully oak brethren. Just kind of speeding us through here, just because, you know, we have the tasks of what we need to do. Lots of building, lots of harvesting, lots of ch 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 chopping. So I want to see what we're at. Okay, flooring is still not done yet, so we can't move into the second floor yet. And then once this is done and the roofing gets done, then we can move into the third floor. Looks like they're finishing off the kitchen, which is good. Alright, auto save. Heading into another beautiful summer day. Got some wolves chilling out here. Interesting. Alright, so all in all, we got the roofage cover here and here. Looks like they're finishing off the roof of the kitchen, so we can start moving stuff in, get the fermenting going, which that'll be nice. Way to go, James. And then hopefully he can just finish up on that top floor. Oh, he's building up our smoker. We can go ahead and say, let's do that forever. And we're going to include people. All right. So we got that going. And the kitchen is complete. So now let's go ahead and start moving all that stuff in. All right. So we've got the cooking fire, the butcher station. So let's go ahead and relocate this into here. The other thing we need to add in is the ferment station. Go ahead and drop that there. We need to relocate the fire. I'll just go ahead and throw that there. Alright, and that'll get all of that stuff cleared out of that area and into the kitchen. So that'll be nice. And we're going to have to check out the temperature here. Alright, so room temperature here is perfect. We want it... I believe it's it has to be above 41 
for good fermenting. So we'll just go ahead and leave that. I'm going to put in a stockpile for the fermentation process. So this stockpile here will be very high priority. Clear all. And it is not food. Wow. Oh, here we go. Fermenting ingredients. Fermenting everything. Yeah. That is going to be our little ferment storage. It's going to be nice and temperature controlled. All right. And that'll just go there. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto mundo. Ooh, we got everything finished here for the barn, it looks like. All right, so we can go ahead and mark this wall for deconstruction. And then each of these troughs, I'm going to relocate to here. I'll relocate that one to there. Oh no, what's happened? They're coming in and out of the barn door. Closed areas. Is the barn door... Cannot be secured against wandering animals or enemies. Ah, my oi. Alright, so I chose the wrong door. Offer some protection for those, but cannot be against... Yep, says it right there. Well, I guess the alternative... Yeah, no, I'm going to want to deconstruct those and put in normal doors, because they're going to want that coverage. the door. Yeah, I don't want to take away the barn from them. Apparently the barn door was the worst door to pick. Alright, roger that. Ooh, lots of berries going. Got a little bit of flax. What was this again? Ooh, barley. Ooh, yeah. Barley. And we got lots of cabbage. A little bit of flax. Plenty of berries. It's definitely something we're not gonna... And I don't know if any of you noticed from previous episodes. A little uh, game insight that I like to do is there was already pre-existing berry bushes in these spots, and then I just expanded around them. So I already incorporated those into the field, so that when they came ready to go, it would mark it on the field and flag it for the worker. That way I didn't have to individually click each and every single time. You know, go, go harvest, go harvest, go harvest, go harvest, like I do with mushrooms and with hay and whatnot. I mean, you could do the same thing here with like these herbs or these herbs, but... I have a little herb garden right here, and again, it's not really herbs aren't really a priority just yet. Because we haven't gotten the stove, so we're not making any lavish meals. Alright, so fermenting. Curdled milk. Fruit juice. Fruit juice is the one we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it um, until we have 20. I'm gonna make a lot of wine. So that's something we're going to need to get up real quick here. You take out those doors? Okay, he took out those doors. So let's just throw down some standard wooden doors. So James is our building machine. Ooh, Alfred. Looks like Alfred's getting in on it too. Alright. No shame there, bro. Getting it done. Alright, so that is now a pin. Okay, so now we know barn doors do not work for actual barns. So now it is pinned, and now those animals are going to have to be roped back in there. Which, whoever does that will just do that. Hopefully. Alright, we've got a raise in botany skill. That's good. Go ahead and do a little hay harvest here, a little hay harvest here, some out there. Anything out here that needs to be harvested? Is that actually, I don't think that's hay, I think that's something else. Oh, it's flax, wild flax. Nice. Oop, I see some upper building going on. Ooh, 
boi. Oh, and I think that might be it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, James. And boom goes dynamite. We have a fully secured giant monstrosity of a fortress. Of a wooden heathen base. Alright, so good thing now. We can start with the furniture. Alright, so everybody gets a bed. Ay, my oi! Environmental heat wave. As the sun beat down, sweat poured from the workers' slick backs. They tired quickly in the blistering heat, wilting like the crops, which needed to be tended and harvested quickly before they withered. The workers needed shade. Some worked after sundown. Whew. Oh, you see the ripple effect on the screen. That is cool. All right. Yep. It is heating up. All right. Let's put the bed here, here, here. And for these rooms, we'll do them like this. All right, so there's beds. We'll get all those going for the bedrooms. Once those are built up, then I can deconstruct all the ones below. And then everyone will just choose their rooms accordingly. I don't really care, honestly. Have a room, don't have a room. <laughs> all right, so that is now a chamber. Excellent. So now going down, we have our worship hall. So we're going to need to relocate this up to here. Oop, auto save. We're going to put in a couple of them. Ah. Pretty sure the beams go yeah they go that way okay so i'm not worried about crossing any kind of beamage so that's good let me grab him copy let's go here and here nice big hall of restitute or of uh, oak brethren sorry not restitution Ugh. all right we'll relocate these Upstairs. Here. We'll copy and build another one. Right there. We'll do the same thing. We'll come back down. We'll relocate this one upstairs. We'll copy and build another one. Yeah, we'll just put a whole bunch. That's a game room. And that's really the, uh, the only thing that we can do. Suffering from excessive heat. Let's see, who's suffering? James and Jeff are two beastly hauler builder idle settlers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is idle? James. James is idle. So you can't, we don't have anything for you to construct. We haven't started any mining. Smithing, carpentry, tailing. Okay, so his mining needs to be a second. And then cut plants. So we don't have any plants for him to be cutting either. So then do we want to start a mine? Honestly, it kind of goes against the challenge. Ah, you know what? He needs construction. But before we can do that, let's get him out here chopping up all these trees. We need a nice, clear... Yep, let's just get him chopping. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Massive, heathen deforestization. Let 
There we go. That should be good now. Yep, going to cut. So he's just going to go and chop down all those trees. So then what we need to do is we need to actually start a lumber yard. The settlers are unconscious. Who passed out? Jeff. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift everything. Let's see, how can we do this? we got to get him out of the heat. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sleep. So let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that. And then after they wake up, they get three any times. And then it's what, one, two, three, four, five works. Five works. They get an any time break. And they get four more works, two any times, and then two leisures. Oh, that would be a leisure. That would be an any time, and I'm short of work. Okay, there. So now they're working at night. We'll see how that works through the summer. inside and sleeping through these horrific times. What is the temperature in here? 90 degrees. They're unconscious, but in their own beds. All right, luckily I can do this manually. We'll turn all of this off. Now the temperature in here should drop. Yep, there it goes. It dropped to fifth into the fifties. Nice. So it's now it's nice and cool in there. Probably a little too cold, honestly, but that's fine. Yeah, 53. So it's nice and cool in there. Whew, the summer heat wave kind of just whumped us. I've never dealt with this environmental hazard before. I feel like every time I play through, I get something new. And that's, that's one of the many things I love about this game. Always something new. All right, wounds. What kind of wounds are we looking at? Heat stroke. They're all dying of heat stroke. You know what, they're waking up right now. Five o'clock. Mm, I feel like we need to shift it all by one more hour. So, go anything. Bump the work. So their lunch break will be at 2 a.m. They'll get two hours of anything, and then two hours of leisure. Because, at least in my experience, the hottest time of the day is usually like 2 to 5. So, so this is about 81 right now. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. Okay. So let's see if this alternate schedule helps us combat the massive heat wave. This is definitely no bueno. They're suffering from cold. <laughs> What? We're in the middle of a heat wave, and there's some, oh, it's 49 degrees in here. Okay, so let's let's turn on just these front two and see if maybe we get a little bit of room control. But oh my gosh, this is crazy. They're in the middle of an excessive heat wave where it's over 100 degrees outside, and they're inside going, Ugh, "It's too cold. It's too cold." Up to the 60s now. Maybe if I just try these ones. Up into the 70s. Okay, we'll just leave those four. So these two back here seem to be the deal breakers during the summer. Mm. 
which that's fine. Alright, they're all convalescing, healing up. Because that heat wave hit everybody really hard. Don't blame them. Honestly, I'm not even mad. Alright, so the next big thing construction wise is we need to decide if we're going to start on auxiliary buildings or if we want to start fortifications. I would think that fortification would be the priority given that, you know, a hostile cannibal tribe. Yeah, see there comes the heat wave. So you know what? I'm going to start a back wall. Let's measure out a back wall here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is a five space. Mm, I think that's still a little too close for trebuchet action. So six space, seven space, eight space. That should be enough to ward off a trebuchet. All right, we want it double. All right, this is our outer wall. So we're going to want this thing to cover us. All, right, all the way. Yeah, get that thing up. Cover our, our, our heinies, our booties. All right, then we'll do the same thing here because we did what? We did eight. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then here. And we'll go to a nice little corner spot. Reinforce the corner. Like a watchtower or something. Sure, why not? That'll be cool. Settlers need tending. Research is available. All right. Tailoring. I'm going to do that one right away. That's a big deal. Sewing station. Yup. Put it down here. Because our hall is kind of being used as our catch-all. Heat wave has ended. Thank the maker, or in this case, thank the the great oak. Is that who they worship? Oak, the oak brethren. They they worship a great oak. I don't, I don't understand the the god or the gods. Regardless, I my oi, we are finally out of it. Let's go ahead and start on this side. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's where we're gonna build. Let's bring it up. All right, nice, good long wall. little corner spot if anything it'll just be aesthetics Go ahead and get it going all the way down here as well Oop, auto save Give us a nice spot to kind of at least protect our backside. Then we know 
where the enemy is coming in from. So it should be good. I think that should be plenty good. And we'll keep this kind of night schedule going through the summer. Even though the heat wave's over, I still, uh, I still feel like having them work during the night is kind of a bit better. It's 50, 60 degrees outside. You know, and then they're suffering from cold. All right, so then what we can do is we can just say, put on all your clothes. All, oh, not no clothes. <laughs> no clothes. You know, that should be, that's actually one of the challenges I've, I've wanted to do is kind of a naked and, naked and afraid. So they're just not allowed to wear clothes at all. And they just have to, you know, tough. All right, let's see, are the beds upstairs built? Oh, let's turn off the roof. All right, beds are not built yet. There's two. Two beds built. So we can go ahead and let's say, deconstruct these ones because they're in the way right now. Ooh, they're upstairs praying, so that's good. Like to see that. All right, so the other thing, furniture-wise, is the racking. I wanted to put in down here in the hall. Because again, heathens, they need to have access to their weapons at all times. What better place than at your front door? Locked and loaded, ready to go. Well, we're just chopping everything out. Take it all. Massive deforestation. As I said. Oh, a group of animals has arrived. A cat. I feel like heathens would be weird cat people. Wildlife. Is it domestic or not? Well, I'm not seeing it here, so it might already be domestic. Ooh, alright. So... It just appeared. Ooh, let's give the... Let's give a cat to Mary and put it on vermin control. Let's have somebody train the other cat. Why not? I have two cats. Put them on vermin control. Alright, that sounds right. Looks like everybody's going in for their daily snooze. Sunny is up there chilling with Mary. Alright, so one thing that I'm thinking, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay the groundwork right now, and then we'll go ahead and call it for this episode. I know not really too much happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then here would be the eight gap. So that's fine. Make it the same width. Actually, no, let's go. Let's go one more. I am going to put in a library. Library slash research area. But it's going to be somewhere where all of this stuff can be stored. So we're going to mine that out. How much is that? Sorry, I wasn't making attention. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 10. 10 by 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 by 5. 10 by 6. Yeah, I feel like 10 by 6 is a good... Okay, now it will be the starting. So that, that pit that I'm digging right now will be the cellar area where we will have all of our bookshelves store all of the books and the knowledge. And then up top we'll have more bookshelves, uh, but we'll have our research stations up top with you know auxiliary bookshelves. But the main ones will be down in the cellars. And 
Let's see, shelf. We got wall bookshelves and shelves. Storage mount three. Medicine seeds, meals. Okay, so that's four items, whereas wall bookshelf. Oh, here we go. Regular bookshelves. They hold four and they float. Okay. So just doing kind of a layout here. We put a whole bunch around the walls, right? And we'll have a one gap around. So if we do a one gap around, then that would leave here and here, a back-to-back -back middle row. And then maybe line the walls with them. Hey, it works for me. Okay, so six seems to be the magic number. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then that'll act, because we'll put our main gates up right here, then that'll act as a buffer building as well. So that'll be nice. And we got our big trash pile right here, which I'll go ahead and expand that accordingly. So we'll expand it like this, expand it out over here. We'll shrink it on that side. All right, so that's just our trash pile, our catch-all. Shrink it there. I know, I'm, I'm being super nitpicky for the aesthetic, but oh well. All right, heading into an autosave. But again, this is no longer the middle of the night. It's now the middle of the day. Wow, they're just going to town digging that up. place this here and here oh no Tracy's gonna dig herself in oh no she fell Tracy girl she dug herself into the pit all right who's digging Jane or constructing James prioritize this we, we need to get her out of there and then come build these stairs hi my oi Tracy what were you thinking Oh, no, I have an idea. I'm just going to dig everything around me and then dig what's right under my feet so I fall into a hole. Oh, girl. Do some supports, maybe. Do them along that center. That double center. Where the bookshelves will be. That works for me. Alright. Let's just get this wall mapped out here real quick. And then we'll get the floor handled here. there and we'll have our library oh wait hold on one more thing we need a roof we need a gorgeous gorgeous roof and we will go this way all right because we don't want it to be too big and then for the inside i'll go ahead and just put a support here and here just to appease my my ocd Right there, and we'll have a nice little library. Right out and about. Alright, it looks like everybody's asleep. So I think this is as good as place as any to call it for today's episode. Not a lot of action, but again, 
plenty of infrastructure. We got the development of our wall going on right here. Nice big back area coming, coming around. Big old just solid oak wall, or in this case pine, because we're growing a pine forest. We finished up our barn, resolved the issue with the barn door catastrophe of letting all the animals out. Hopefully now our goats will be able to multiply. We got our smokehouse in, our cellar is complete. Our entire massive fortress is complete, including the weird little lippage, but that's fine. I think it looks good. Right? We're not shooting for perfection. We're cannibals here, after all. I think that once your moral code decides that eating people is sufficient, basic engineering and thought kind of goes out the door. We've got lots and lots of berries growing, which then once the berries start... So it says we have 20. Where are they being stored? So they're supposed to be here. Ah, I know why. We have to come down here. And fermenting ingredients need to be disallowed. Because I guarantee that's it right there. Yep, fruit juice. And you know what? While I'm here, let's go ahead and change this to forever. Let's just always have wine. <laughs> right? It's it's blood wine. There we go. It's blood wine. We're cannibals. Wine looks like blood. Sure, why not? We'll have some blood wine. And do we have anything else? We got flax. We got barley. We got herbs. We got berries. We've got a good little grove of trees going. Good little spot of cabbage. All right. Nice little thing right here. We can put another little auxiliary building if we need to. Plenty of room over here. Over here as well. We'll go ahead and bring this wall around. Put a gate out front. And then just start laying down traps. Because again, we're dirty, dirty heathens. We're not above trapping people. Because they're, after all, on the menu. But yep, I'm going to go ahead and call it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again so much for stopping by. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments, and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps me out. This channel is growing fast, and I love it. We are definitely creating a great, good, humble community. And if you want to further that community, you can follow me on Instagram, at Bears and Beans Gaming. I post all my latest updates on there as well. We're going to be having an upcoming, um, I guess, contest, sweepstakes, whatever you want to call it, for the Road to 100. So I can get 100 subscribers, I'm going to start giving away some merch, because I kind of want to get things out there, and I partnered with a good uh, local company here in Ohio, so they do excellent work. I actually have a few uh, screen print stuff from them that I've designed myself, and it'll all be up there, again, on the Instagram. And if you want to show your support, I also have a Patreon as well, so you can head over there, Bears and Beans. But again, thank you all so much, I hope you enjoyed this episode, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.